exercise cartwheel began as a very low level bilateral exercise five years ago in 2019. Now today it has blossomed into a complex multilateral multinational event ranging from rappelling the live fire exercise among many nations. This exercise called Cartwheel reinforces bonds literally forged over 83 years ago in World War II. We're building relations and proficiency with the other nations. So where we're standing right now, we just completed a combined arms live fire breach with the French infantry and an engineer squad from Switzerland Engineer Company. What we're doing is we're, we're just conducting exercises with the other nations, developing TTPs, relationships, and rehearsing movements to and from locations like Fiji. What makes us successful is being able to establish that rapport with the other NCOs and officers that are out executing these lanes from the American Engineer Unit here, the Republic of Fiji Military Force, and French and the Australians in, in establishing that common operating picture on how we do things. And fortunately, with Western countries and then uh, the Fijians working with us and their, their training they've gotten from the Australians, on the base level, it's, it's kind of the same and universal, so we can still talk the same language when it comes to war fighting. We don't have any training in Fiji based on uh, repelling. We don't have any schools that teach us repelling. This is, most of us, it's the first time. We learn from them, they learn from us. And uh, it's a combination. We need experts in these austere environments that we don't operate in on a day-to-day -day basis. Us as National Guard soldiers, we have uh, desert and uh, forest and snow. Not as much a jungle or a rainy environment but it really will take the locals and those foreign militaries who are experts in those environments and those cultures to be able to lend a hand to the U.S. and say, this is how you do it. This is how you're gonna succeed here. This is a stepping stone that, as we know, there's, there's possible threats in the Pacific and this is crucial to continue to build and strengthen relationships for possible threats in the future. And not only that, just we now know from this exercise how to get troops, equipment, and explosives from Reno, Nevada to Nandi Fiji. So those are all huge strategic wins for the Nevada National Guard.